look at that. Man, it's a castle, isn't it? We've just signed the contract, paid the money, and we're gonna go and have a see of it. So, we're driving in convoy with Samuel and Mandy. We've got Anna and Emily in the back. So yeah, exciting times. I'm very, very, very much looking forward to it. to make it more modern day, yeah. you know, people... But at, the same time, but at the same time, keeping the character, I'm glad that it's, it's good. Amazing, absolutely humongous. It's an old castle with a lot of history, and they're just about to get this changed from for sale to sold, so feeling really excited. Massive project, and gonna be really, really exciting. So last week we went to an auction and we had to walk away because someone went over and this is about formulas, not feelings. However, we then had a call back from the agent saying that there were some complications with the person that won the bid and they came back to us. So now I'm thinking, well, thank God that we stuck to our guns and didn't go up and up and up and get wrapped up in a bidding war. It's not even a house, it's actually a castle. And right now I'm standing in the garden with tennis courts and eight acres of land. And at the moment it's 12 or 13 flats. We're gonna break it up into 18 apartments and one house and we finance it. And we'll hopefully, fingers crossed, be able to pull out 1.2 million profit in cash, as well as having the property to then rent out. And we should be earning a passive income of around about 10 to 12,000 pounds per month from the deal. So no money down, 1.2 million profit, 10,000, 12,000 pounds a month passive income and it's just gonna be a really exciting project over the next year or two, doing it up, and it's got so much history, absolutely beautiful, so this is, this is a very big deal, so right now I'm feeling very, very happy. What did you think of the castle? Did you like it? Because you're a princess, aren't you? I bought this before ever seeing it, so even though I'm absolutely in love with it, this is not about feelings, this is still about profit. So all of, it's all got to be business. The purpose of a business has got to be to make money. And so many people, they, they get involved in projects just because they think, oh, it's exciting, or oh, I love this, or I can see so much potential, but they don't think about the money. But the cool thing is about this, is not only is it beautiful, and not only are we in love with the building, but actually it's going to make us an awful lot of profit, assuming it all comes off. So we've just walked up to the church, which is 30 seconds away from the castle and it's open, it's beautiful, so we might come back on Sunday to give thanks for our blessings for what's just happened and also pray for a good outcome. <laughs> so if you wanna see the developments of this over the next 12, 18 months and keep an eye on how much profit we're making and the pros and cons and pitfalls of development but also how much money can be made, then subscribe below. I'm gonna be documenting the journey and really look forward to it and hopefully it will be a real, real success. See, I'm, I'm still stepping out of my own comfort zone right now. I mean, buying a, ca a castle with eight acres of land around it and splitting it up into loads of flats. I mean, there's Japanese knotweed everywhere. There's a roof that's fallen down. I'm out of my comfort zone. But unless you're growing and stepping out of your comfort zone, then you're dying. So, like this building looks like it's dying. I'd rather it be the building than me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you benefited from that video, please do share it with your family and friends. For more videos like it, you can watch right here. And if you'd like to spend two days with me at the Property Investors Crash Course, watch this video, see what happens. But whatever you do, don't forget to subscribe right here, and I'll see you next time.